All right, so let's do some Let's Plays. Um, sorry about the whirling in the background. It is super hot, and I've got the fan going. No brainer. But uh, all right, so this is Sunday, and uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this thing. But everybody knows who plays GBGW that Tuesday is when everything resets here on the West Coast Pacific Standard Time resets every day, one o'clock. So uh, the weekly event missions, that is for this week, the Sword Impulse stuff, including all of the other things like the Devil Gundam, or the Satan Gundam missions, the Inferno challenges, um, all of these are gonna be going away um, in, in a couple of days. So we still have the anniversary missions that are live. Uh, I already completed all of those. The lottery is gonna be ending in about three hours. Uh, you just have to run the mission once a week kind of thing so that you have a chance of getting a full Sokai part. And for people who don't know what a uh, Sokai unit is, a Sokai unit is essentially the best unit you can get in the game. Um, think like if you play other mobile games, it'd be like a UR or like something higher than a UR or like if you have like a four or five star system, it'd be like a six star unit kind of thing. So if you really want that, that sword impulse, I would get it. And I would recommend, um, most YouTubers would kind of say like, Oh, you don't really need to buy these parts, whatever. I always try to buy and max out every single part because when you try to get them after the event ends, they are much more difficult. And we don't know how the game is gonna progress in the next year. There are some things that you can kind of clearly say like, oh, this might not be good at the time. And then after the fact, you're gonna go, oh shoot, this trait is actually kind of decent. And I've been playing the game from the very beginning and I've noticed that there have been a couple of parts that are kind of like that. So rather than risk it, I might as well just spend the extra EN the end is the, the stamina system in this game. Just go ahead and grab that. So we're gonna just try to blow through some of this, uh, these stamina uh, before things reset at, at one o'clock so that I don't have to, to deal with that, right? I can, I can play my other mobile games. So there's two that I'm really aiming for. There's the uh, super hard A and the super hard B and the way that these event missions kind of break down is that they have uh, almost, I think they have like three types. So the first type that we're seeing right now, and it's best to kind of explain it this way, is the, um, the ticket system that's broken up into A and B. And so the way that they kind of do this is when you go to super hard A, you only get the A ticket. And then when you go to super hard B, you only get the B ticket. Then you have this EX uh, mission that you can do. You can get both tickets. So I've run the numbers essentially. And if you only want the stuff for B, don't do the EX because the EX probably gives you about half the amount. And even if you want to try to get everything in the shop, um, the EX missions is just not the most efficient way in order for you to grab tickets. So right now, And, and usually they break it down as the A tickets give you the suit. And, and some of the gears and, and some of this stuff. But essentially it's just the suit. And then the B side gives you all of the things that uh, I guess more advanced players would be kind of more interested in. It's stuff like the things to level up your units, which are called nippers, the things to awaken your units, called awakening chips. Um, these are the things that are a little bit more sought after for more seasoned players. So usually I focus on the B side because this is the stuff I really want and need. Um, but, We can probably talk about that in another video. So let's just go ahead and cut through this stuff. So 
I think I still need to do a Satan Gundam mission anyway, so I can probably do that in this video as well. So let's see here, where is my bonus week? So I can explain uh, how to do this forming squad stuff too, because I'm sure there's a lot of people who are gonna be watching this video who are like, I don't really get what Steven is doing right now. So um, the way that you can form your squad, you can kind of do it one of two ways. So you can go through the free squad unit, which means that you can use your full pool of parts per one of these, and I think it's highlighting on the screen right now. So one of these sections, you can use your full pool of parts. When you go to the normal section, every single one of these here uses the full pool of parts. So you have a little bit more ability to make stronger units if you use the free squads. And so I like to have a, a main squad that has really powerful units that I can kind of just blow through the game with, or I, uh, or and, and I have a, a team that I can just do uh, my weekly stuff. So I don't have to worry about switching parts every time. All right. Let's go ahead. Kind of just do this. So they have a really nice system in this where you can play the game if you want. Uh, you can either auto battle or you can use this ticket system where just it literally skips everything. So you not only use the stamina, but you also have to use the special item. The special item, the ticket, is actually pretty readily available. Um, you can buy it through a plethora of ways. You can sell your old parts and you can get it. Um, it's usually available kind of like in the coin shop like we saw before. Most shops actually have the ticket system. You can even buy it sometimes if you get really lucky. There's another shop um, that uh, cycles maybe every five minutes or so. Uh, where you can use regular currency in order to purchase it. So our regular currency in this game is called capital. So all right, cool. I think that's just about it. And cool, I, I accomplished some of the missions. This is kind of like just a quality of life kind of thing. They have this little section down on the bottom right that after you finish the mission, it'll tell you what missions you actually completed in or achievements you completed in, in the general scope of things. So sometimes you have these achievements that say, play this mission a hundred times and you don't want to check going to the very front of the menu um, screen in order to see whether or not you accomplish these, these goals. So I, I really appreciate that. So we're gonna go over here and let's do some Satan Gun missions. Cool. Oh, nice, we got a re-rise divers team kind of going on. Let's see how this works out. I actually adjusted my team a little bit so I don't have the uh, the axe anymore. Um, I wanted to try out this different build where I use the Zeta Gundam chest. So Zeta Gundam chest has an EX skill that has an A power and um, lot, said a lot of words that maybe don't make sense to some people. But essentially the way that um, weapons kind of work in this game and, and skills and, and strength is that if you have a power score that's really, really high, then you'll do a lot better. So here we go, you have the hyper beam saber. Okay, cool, I just, I didn't do that much damage, but it's okay. In hindsight, I probably should have activated these EX skills first and then activated the, um, the Hyper Beam Saber, the EX skill from the Zeta. That's okay. So I might actually not like this EX skill. So what I, I ended up sacrificing in order to get this EX skill was uh, the ability to have my cooldown reduced by 6% with the, the Exia parts. And I think that the, the cooldown is just a much better 
thing to get, especially in these kinds of missions where you're fighting um, like very, very strong bosses. Ooh, yeah, this this might take a, little, a while, but it's okay. Probably by the time we actually kill him for the first stage, we'll be able to have our EX skills charged up. Ooh, this is not looking good. Come on, build divers. We can do it. Phone's also getting super hot, so <laughs> might have to cut this video a little short. Oh. I wonder if the uh, the fee dropped a little bit. No, cool. Still trying to work out the kinks a little bit on um, on, on recording this stuff. I mean, it seems like it's kind of working out okay. All right, cool. We have two minutes left, so a good healthy amount, and all of my EX skills have charged. So we're gonna activate we're gonna activate this guy here. Oh. And uh, use some some bisect. Hopefully everyone else's EX skills have charged up too. So I'm not just doing this by myself. Okay, cool. There we go. Thank you, Shin. That definitely helps me out. Ah, goodness. I think this is kind of the drawback of the hyper beam saber. You have to actually be very, very close to. So if you didn't see my other videos, the um the axe from the Gusion is actually really good because it's a, a, I think it's a B plus power EX skill that has a very fast cooldown. So instead of taking like 30 seconds or something like that, you, you're only taking uh, like two seconds for its initial cooldown. And then it takes like 30 seconds for its like regular cooldown compared to the 30 seconds initial cooldown of some other EX skills like Bisect or the Build Brain Backpack. Ooh. Yeah, we might, we might not make it. That's right, I believe we have 19 seconds we can do this. Someone's EX skill is gonna charge up like right now and they're gonna kill this guy. Things will be good. or it won't be good. Four, three, two, one, unfortunate. Okay, well, that was a, a good experiment <laughs> to see whether or not the Zeta chest would actually kind of work. It's a cool EX skill, I'm not gonna lie. I like the, I like the animation for it, but I think specifically for this mission, it probably won't work out too well. So we are going to switch that out. So sorry, bud. Actually, see, let's see. Um, I don't think the Quanta really has something that I would like. Sort by rarity. Okay, where is my my exia? There it is. Okay, cool. 
so now I can switch over my part. So in fighter job, uh, EX skill cooldown is reduced by 7%. So perfect, that's exactly what I want. And I can go ahead and double check my word tags, make sure that my close combat and pro tag are not gonna go away. Okay, and switch this out and give myself the, where are you? Oh, there you are. Perfect. We'll switch that word tag over to close combat. And boom, we have the, the old faithful. So in order to get this guy up about another 4,000 melee attack, uh, my game plan is to switch out that, or to increase the head and make him a six star. But I need these, these word tags and all that, that good stuff. And so I was thinking about last night what I wanted to do uh, to increase this guy's power because I can definitely switch out the word tags for, for this guy, or um, to buff, buff up this guy. So it can give some, some more raw uh, stats. So instead of, I'll keep the EX skill, but I'll turn the backpack, uh, one of the, the high melee attack backpacks like the unicorn or the night Gundam uh, into so that I can put the build burning backpack and equip it onto, you know, one of these. I was thinking night Gundam. I think night Gundam is kind of cool. doesn't really have a, a skill that I really want to use, but then I can equip anything else onto it. And then I think I have most of the stuff that I need in order to, to evolve it. I at least have the the P attribute awakenings. So we'll see how that goes. I'll do a little bit of research on that first and then um, after I get everything all settled and done, then I'll uh, try to make another video about that because it's always such a super fun, super fun uh, experience when you get to level up your guy completely, right? You can see the the new the new power that you can achieve. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this suit. The other guy that I work on really is um, my shot build. I can work on my shot build a little bit more. And I was also thinking about like what I can actually use in order to level this guy up. And I I think I guess I'm pretty conflicted with it. I'm not really sure. Who I want to use. Uh, can I even upgrade him? No, I can't even upgrade him. I still need two more of the uh, the AIs, um, the AI awakening chips for pilots. Um, and I need to keep him at a, a T attribute. And so that's that's like one of the tougher things. Um, I don't really have a lot of good strong T attribute. Um, parts, especially ones I actually want to, you know, turn into six stars, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just cave for this week. I mean, once next week rolls around, there's going to be a new set of, um, of gold parts that I can get or, um, or six star awakening chips that I can get. So that'll be kind of nice. But anyway, I'll uh, stop for now before my, my phone completely overheats and I'll see everybody in the next video.